Now with uh, polynomials in GeoGebra, you can go one step further with sliders. And uh, if I create three sliders, A equals zero, B equals zero, and C equals zero. Um, by the way, it doesn't matter if you set them equal to zero or 10 or 1,000. I just make it zero so that the slider starts in the middle. Um, and then I create the general form for a, a second degree polynomial. So y equals a asterisk for times x. And then I'm going to click on the squared over here. So you can see over here it's a times x squared, or ax squared, plus b times x plus c. So that's your general form. I hit enter. And currently it says y equals 0 over here because everything's set at 0. Turn on my sliders. And as I shift A positive, let me change that. If I, as I shift A positive, you can see uh, the parabola change because now it's, um, like I'll leave it at 1, now it's y equals x squared. So there's our equation there. Um, and you can see that over here. You can change the b coefficient, and now that's creating a polynomial where um, the a and the b are positive. And so you can see how the parabola shifts, and it actually follows um, the reflection. So your students can see that. And then um, you can change the c, and they can see what the effect of these things are. So um, it's really helpful to see, once again, what each coefficient does and what's the effect of changing all these things. Now, if I set this back to um, a or y equals x squared, this back at zero, um, I can do something else here. There's a lot of things I can do, but I'll do one more thing. Um, is I'll shift c down so that uh, there are these two points here that are intersecting the x-axis. And uh, those are the roots of the equations. Those are the parts where y equals zero, and those are really great for, uh, really important for factoring and finding out um, lots of different things. And so then I can go over here to uh, this tool and click on intercept, intersect two x, and click on the intersect right there. And uh, so I clicked on the parabola and the axis, the x-axis, and now it's created those two root points. And so there they are right there. So if I was to factor out the equation, I would um, get that, which makes sense because uh, here's uh, y equals x squared minus 2, so um, it's going to be the square root of 2, which is what we see here at 1.41. And what's cool, once again, interactive math, is I can shift C and they can see how the roots become closer and closer until they become uh, the roots become zero, or I can shift them down. They can see that they spread them out. If I shift um, <coughs> if I shift C further positive, um, those become undefined because the it's not hitting the x-axis at all. And so uh, once again, another opportunity to use GeoGebra for interactive math. Thanks for watching.